This is what likely comes to mind when you think New Year. Because most people follow the Gregorian calendar, which has 365 days or 12 months in the year, January 1st is the New Year. But depending on who you speak with, New Year reaches far beyond January 1st. Chinese New Year, also known as the Lunar New Year and Spring Festival, is celebrated between January 21st and February 20th. Millions of people around the world celebrate the 15-day festival with friends and family, share a meal, wear traditional clothing, light fireworks, participate in colorful parades, and decorate their homes, neighborhoods, and streets with lanterns. What's very important in a lot of these traditions, uh, especially the Asian traditions, is the idea that New Year's represents a turning point. It's a, an extremely auspicious day, it's, but it's about this idea that by doing these things, you are plugging into a, um, a supernatural power that will bring life and good fortune to you and your family. Each year, Chinese New Year is dedicated to an animal that has its significance in the Chinese lunar calendar. Another big celebration is Rosh Hashanah, meaning Head of the Year in Hebrew, also known as the Jewish New Year. Celebrated on the seventh month of the Jewish lunisolar calendar between September and October. It's a solemn occasion, it's a religious occasion, and it's muted. The celebration is muted. Rosh Hashanah, uh, you know, which occurs in the fall, is uh, a two-day celebration that begins the, 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 the most important um, time of the Jewish religious uh, year, which is uh, the, the ten days of uh, repentance of self-reflection, of, uh, you know, measuring yourself against uh, what is expected of you uh, from God and from uh, the community. A popular ritual on Rosh Hashanah involves using the shafur, an old wind instrument to mark the beginning of a 10-day period, leading to another festival called Yom Kippur. Even though it is, it's not the kind of lights and fireworks and drinks and uh, you know uh, that we associate with uh, New Year's Day in a secular society, it brings the community together. Nowruz is celebrated by over 300 million people worldwide, which is the Persian New Year, and the 3,000-year-old Iranian celebration marks the beginning of spring and is observed on either March 20th or 21st, the first day of the year on the Iranian solar calendar. It's more of a, you know, first day of spring celebration. The more important thing is to visit the homes of family and friends, honoring uh, elders. You'll more than likely come across what's known as the huff table, displaying at least seven items that include some form of sprout or grass for rebirth and renewal, dried fruit for love, apples for beauty and health, garlic for medicine and self-care, a sweet pudding for wealth and fertility, vinegar for patience and wisdom, and a Persian spice for more sunrises. Millions of Muslims around the world celebrate the Islamic New Year, which is observed on a different day each year. It falls on the first day of the first month of the Islamic lunar calendar called Mahram. It's also known as the Herji New Year, or Arabic New Year. It's a time to commemorate Prophet Muhammad fleeing from Mecca to Medina with his followers in 622 AD, to escape the dominant culture at the time that didn't allow them to practice their faith. For most Muslims, New Year's is a, a minor holiday it's, or a minor day. It's celebrated, it's acknowledged, but it, it doesn't have the same kind of cultural weight as it does, let's say, in China or, or among Sikhs, uh, for example, or, or in the Jewish community. Vesaki, also known as Besaki, the Harvest Festival and the Sikh and Punjabi New Year. It's observed by Sikhs and some Hindus on either the 13th or the 14th of April each year based on the Nanak Shahi calendar, a solar calendar used by the Sikhs. But Vesaki isn't only a celebration of a new year. It also commemorates the establishing of Khalsa, a process used to describe Sikhs who've been baptized. And in Thailand, people celebrate the Buddhist New Year with a three-day water fight. What initially started off as people pouring water over Buddha statues. But people in Thailand aren't just soaking each other for fun, even though there's lots of that happening at the Songkran Festival. Splashing water is meant to wash away bad luck from the previous year.
and in most of these countries, the New Year is considered a public holiday, a time for people to be with their friends and families. But that's not always a privilege that people who are living away from their native countries can partake in. For these,、uh, you know, immigrant communities and long-established communities, these traditions are are very, very important. They they're markers both of、um, religious identity but also of ethnic identity. They become really strong touchstones. For the community. While there are different ways to celebrate the New Year, depending on which cultural celebration you follow, what they all have in common is the idea of congregating with their friends, families, and their global community at large to celebrate new beginnings. Thank you for watching Global News. If you enjoyed what you saw, like the video. You can also hit the subscribe button for the latest international news and trending videos.